if you have a perfect fryer um, and you've had problems with it starting up with a fan error on it, this is an emergency startup procedure that you can use until you're able to service the fan. Um, this we've had this come happen occasionally. This is a perfect fryer model PFA720. And if you notice right now we're getting an error code on the unit that um, says main fan. Uh, please check main fan error. Um, and again, this is an emergency startup procedure. It's not something you want to do on a regular basis. Um, you'll probably be able to start it up in an emergency three or four times. Uh, what you have to have to do this is an air compressor with a narrowed down nozzle so that um, you have a good airflow. Okay. And then you open the unit up. And the company will tell you that if you have bad fan or seals in here, that this tends to happen more often because the grease bypasses through the machine. Uh, around the seals and is able to get in the fan, the grease collects on the fan and the weight of the grease on the fan uh, doesn't allow it to start up properly. Uh, you'll especially see this if you have an air conditioned shop and you open it up uh, overnight and you have high humidity, it'll tend to cause this problem more frequently. What you do is you basically remove the filter from the unit Take a blower tip off the compressor. This might get a little noisy for a minute. Um, put the blower tip up into the fan. Replace the filter quickly. Locking into place, closing the unit up. Shutting it down, allow the computer to reset, bring it back online. I'm get shot of that. Um, as you can see, the digital panel now is reading heating. And if it jumps 20 degrees, you then know that you alleviated the problem temporarily. Again, this isn't a long-term fix, and probably um, maybe a dozen times you can get away with this. It gives you enough time to order a new fan or call a factory service tech and get them in to deal with the unit. And you can see we're building heat right now. And we'll let it run up a couple degrees just to show you that this procedure has worked. And again, this is a perfect fry, and it's a model PF720. This should work with any, um, any perfect fry unit that has a uh, main fan problem in it. And again, you want to spin it until you, you know, spin the fan with the air pressure uh, until you can hear it uh, spinning quite rapidly. Um, if there's a bad spot in the motor, it tends to get it off the bad spot. Uh, and I think also the velocity that you spin it at tends to clean the flat fan blades off so that they're, um, they work a little better. And as you can see, we're building heat, so our problem is solved. Thank you for watching our video.